I still don't know how to process this damn thing, but uh, <laughs> the basis of accomplishments and not accolades. And uh, I'm afraid... It, when I saw the number, I first started to shake a little bit. Um, but, you know, probably after about 30 seconds, I was like, okay, well, let's bow to the inevitable. And so after that, from then to now, it's kind of like 50% happiness and 50% fear. Because you know, I don't want my life to change. I really like my life, and I'm busy enough already. I think I think the two other guys, W.E. and 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 Stefan, are extremely well deserving. Um, I always figured that I'd probably be left out of that mix, honestly. So so I'm I'm happy, and I guess to the extent that I wanted the prize relieved to be included with them. But I think the committee did a wonderful job of selecting who they did in this field. And so the tools of the three of us. This is really about. Um, the ability to take optical microscopy that had sort of a limit to how small you could see and pushing it closer to what an electron microscope could see. That in a, alone isn't very interesting because electron microscopes can already see it, but what an optical microscope can do is A, it can look at specific proteins inside of the cell, which electron microscopes can't, and B, it can look at living cells. And you really need to be able to look at living cells because because life is animate. It's what defines life. And so, um, so the only way you're going to understand how inanimate molecules come together to create animate life is by studying them in high resolution in both space and time. And so these super resolution techniques give us the ability in order to do that. So electron microscopes are great tools, but they can't... Well, I think this will be... This is already and is increasingly becoming a very good tool to help connect the fields of molecular biology and cellular biology so that we can really understand how the genetic code and the proteins that are expressed by that code then create the sort of behaviors that happen things like cell division or you know metabolism or or um, or um, you know uh, death of cells and so forth how all that happens and so we can see that now in finer detail than we could before. Molecules and their, their chemistry and their physics to be able to make optical microbes.